Hello everyone, this is HGS Kaska here. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Okay, I think that may be a new record for how quickly I can see it. But as you can see, we are back playing Animal Crossing. And I gotta be completely honest with you guys, I'm actually kind of falling in love with this game. I didn't know what to expect when I first started playing it. But after reading some of your comments, after watching some of my friends' videos, like Justine has a couple Animal Crossing videos as well, I realized there is so much more to do in this game than I initially thought or even knew about so i'm super excited let's just jump right in i did take a couple of a day break because i wanted to see if the museum is built yet it said it was going to take a couple of days so i got a little impatient and i'm just like you know what i'm going to go do some fishing i'm going to catch some bugs but other than that i'm going to wait for the museum so i don't know if it's built yet as you can see i'm just kind of jumping in right now but hopefully it is and hopefully it's really really cool so here we go tom nook hello everyone this is tom nook it's 7 58 p.m this happy thursday april 2nd 2020. you guys may notice i play this game at night a lot i don't know why it just kind of relaxes me it helps me go to bed now for today's news Ta-da! Today, Husky Town has its very own museum! <laughs> yes! That is exactly what I'm talking about. It looks like that museum is done. Tom Nook is losing his mind. He's got flowers coming out of him. I mean, that's how excited he actually is. Oh, yes, it's a grand museum indeed, with separate exhibit rooms for insects, fish, and fossils. Pretty awesome. Blathers, the museum curator, says he's always available to accept donations or assess... Fossils. Assess is a word that we don't use enough, I feel like, in everyday language. And museum admission is free, so stop by whenever you like. I would hope that it would be free for me, considering everything in every exhibit is from me. I feel like I should be a part owner of this museum. By the way, whenever we cover big island developments like this, we'll hold a special commemorative ceremony afterward. We'd like as many folks as possible to take part, so stop by Resident Services if you're interested, that's all for me. I do hope you enjoy another fine day of luxurious Husky Town living. Luxurious, they say. I don't know. I don't know how luxurious my island is just yet, but we are trying to make it better, I guess. I mean, I have seen some of the videos now, to be completely honest, uh, but I don't know if luxurious is the word. I mean, looking around, my flowers are looking a little sad. My trees, I realized... Am I planting my trees too close together, guys? Let me know down in the comments below. Am I planting the trees correctly? Because I thought they were all going to grow. But they they seem to be having a problem here. So maybe I need to dig up these trees. Because one of these trees I actually planted was a money tree. I think it was this one right here. But I worry that the money tree is not going to grow because I planted it too close. And I'm kind of freaking out. So you have to tell me in the comments below. What do I do in this situation? Can I dig up the tree? I don't even know. But these trees are pink and pretty cool, and I don't know if I can shake the tree if anything interesting is going to come out. I actually have no idea. I mean, I'm not even getting any twigs or anything at this point. So the tree looks cool, however, not really doing a whole lot for me, and I'm kind of bummed out about that. Oh, wow! This museum is so big, it is blocking the view of my house. That is how big it is. Wait, wait, hold on. We got we to gotta check out what's going on over here. We have got to dig. Oh, wait. No, I have to make a shovel, don't I? Okay, well, don't go anywhere, little fossil. Because I'm coming back for you. I'm hoping it's a fossil anyway. I don't know if sometimes you can dig up garbage, but I would much rather prefer a fossil at this point instead of garbage. All right, here is the awesome museum. This museum is dope. Can you make your house this big? Because that would be super cool if you could have, like, a basement and everything. Let's see what Mr. Hootie Pants has to say. Hoo-hoo, if it isn't Husky! At long last, Husky Town Museum has opened, and this very day, no less. An impressive feat of engineering, craftsmanship, and good old island ingenuity, is it not? Of course, it was your very own donations that made it possible. So, to you I say, thank you. Now, allow me to give you a quick overview of our fine institution's floor plan. You'll find there are entrances to the left, to the right, and into the basement. Each one leads to exhibit rooms wherein the donations collected thus far have been put on display. Oh, that's right. I have more good news to report. That is, the donation process has been streamlined. Henceforth, we'll accept multiple donations all at once. That is awesome. Furthermore, if you wish to learn more about a fossil or fish or bug, I suppose, simply say, tell me about this. Hoot! Hesitate not. I will happily oblige. Now, by all means, do please take a gander at our magnificent collection. It is surely a thing of wonder. All right, well, I guess, uh, do I have anything on me right now? I mean, I have one fish, but you guys, I'm going to be completely honest. I have been fishing up a storm lately and trying to catch some bugs. So I have some stuff actually in storage. So I'm going to go grab that and then I'll donate all that at once. And then I'll look around the museum because museums are oddly satisfying to me. It's like you go in, you look at cool stuff, you hang out. 
it's nice and relaxing, which I definitely appreciate. All right, so let's see. Look at all this stuff I caught. So move to pockets, move to pockets. Oh, we are we are taking all these bugs and all these fish. We got a red snapper. We got a sea bass, which are very common. We got apparently two sea basses. We got a horse mackerel. We got apparently two horse mackerels. We got a sea butterfly. We got... <laughs> okay, so... I did do a lot of fishing, but I'm realizing now that a lot of them are duplicates. Oh no, my pockets are full already. Um, well, if I didn't have all these duplicates... No, I, I just gotta sell these ones. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put... I mean, I guess I don't need two vaulting poles right now. I don't need my tree branches at this very moment. And I guess I can just put this wood in there. So hopefully that is enough space. Oh man, I kind of wish the inventory was, was a lot bigger. But I guess with how much storage you get in this game, I can't really complain. Okay, so there we go. Let's go to the museum and be like, hey, I got 500,000 fish. Do you want them? And Mr. Hootie Pants is gonna like lose his mind. I can feel it. All right, so let's go back in here. See what Mr. Hootie Pants is up to. I'm guessing he just kind of hangs out at the entrance all day. All right, here we go. He's got a book. I like how he always puts it away before talking to you. That's very respectful. Might there be something with which I can assist you? I want to make a donation. Marvelous, what would you like to donate? Well, I want to give you a sea bass. I want to give you a sea butterfly. We have red snappers. We've got black bass. We've got tuna, tiger beetle. This one is really cool, the football fish. I actually caught three of these and was able to sell two of them for a pretty penny. I can't remember if I've given this one to him or not. And let's see. Woohoo, several things I see. Let's take a look. Splendid, we'll gladly take these off your hands. No need to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. Is there anything else I can help you with? I mean, I'm good. I hope you enjoy those fine donations. Jolly good, please enjoy the rest of your visit. Are you guys ready to go on a relaxing museum tour? Because I sure am. What's up here? Okay, well, they built this upper floor for actually no reason. I guess you can kind of sit here and look super awesome, but today I'll be your tour guide at the Husky Town Museum, world renowned for bugs, fish, and fossils. We've opened since, well, today's actually our first day, so I don't know how this is going to go. So let's go ahead and go to the bug exhibit, Exhibit A. In the bug exhibit, you will find bugs. It goes outside? What? Where is this storage? Uh, okay, what's this sign? We humbly ask for your donations to add to our displays. I thought they said it was free of charge. What does this one say? Okay, apparently they're really marketing. Every sign says we want your money. Um, where... So far I haven't seen a single bug. I've definitely been handing him bugs and I have not seen any bugs. Hello, it's your tour guide. Here we are in the bug exhibit. We've got butterflies, a flutter, not a l we have a snail over here. Let's see what this sign says. The sign says snail, March 31st, donated by Husky. Okay, well, you know, you know you've made it when you have your snail in a museum with a sign that says donated by Husky. Oh my gosh, we got one little bug over here all by himself. Uh, no other bugs up here. Nothing in there. I mean, I don't, is there even anything in this one? What is this one? Wharf roach. I mean, oh, they're over here. They're on the left side. Okay, so I donated those bugs. I mean, those are really a fan favorite. I gotta be completely honest. And apparently we just leave the moths in here completely unattended. I mean, that is wide open. Anything over here? Nope, not yet. All right, well, those are the bugs. Now it's time for the fish and the fossils. I hope you found this tour relaxing today as I don't know how we warranted building this $35 million building for the five bugs that have been donated thus far. This place is absolutely huge. I'm completely, wait, what's this one? I'm completely blown away. I, th I did not expect the museum to be this wild. This kind of motivates me to really catch everything. Oh, it's in the same location that I've already been in. Whoopsies. Okay, well, we don't need to uh, go look at any more bugs. I mean, like, where did this huge tree come from? This tree looks like it's 300 years old. It's pretty awesome. Well, I definitely recommend getting your guys' museum built because it is super cool. And I can really see, uh, it kind of makes me wonder like how many fish, bugs, and fossils are in 
this game. If you can unlock that much stuff, that is absolutely crazy. Uh, let's see what the fossils I donate. This room is freaking awesome! I would love to go to a museum like this. Alright, so basically it literally just lays out a bunch of fossils. This is where the dinosaur fossils are, which I don't know if I found like a full-on dinosaur yet, but that would be super cool. Ah, so part of the pieces I found are being pieced together over there, and I feel like you can really, like, is there going to be a T-Rex in here? Okay, that, that is cool. I, I'm like, this game is slowly growing on me, I have to be completely honest. Uh, okay, I don't, wait, what is this? What is this? We humbly ask for donations. Okay, well, I don't have anything to donate. There's part of what I've donated. So now I really, really want to play this game like 9,000 hours and find every single fossil. I don't know if anyone's actually done that yet because the game's only been out for a couple of weeks. Although, I'm sure some of you guys are very good at this game and have played it quite a bit. So I don't know if there's a video of every single fossil being collected yet because there are podiums for days for fossils. Sorry that I'm spending so much time in the museum. I actually think it's like one of the coolest things in the game that I've seen. So we're going to go to the fish just really quick. I won't linger, but I will show you my fish collection. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly how the museum is laid out. Because, like I said, this is my first time ever playing this game. And yeah, I've seen a couple of videos. I did not see videos of the museum. Didn't realize it was that involved. Okay, these fish tanks are incredible. Uh, yeah, see, we got a couple small fish over here that I've donated. Uh, where's the really cool fish? And, alright, here's some of the bigger fish. We got a whole school over there. We got a big fatty fish over there. And... wait, where's this go? This me oh, okay. You can look through the window, that's kind of fun. Let me, uh, let me just look over here. I think this is probably the last aquarium I would imagine. I mean, this is already a huge, HUGE aquarium. Yeah, there he is! There's my homie. He is the best. I love him. He's super cool, super peaceful. Okay, so we are definitely gonna be doing a lot more fishing, a lot more bug catching, and a lot more fossil hunting. That is the absolute plan moving forward. However, I want to see what this lit party is all about. He's been saying that we're going to kind of commemorate the museum. And I don't know exactly what that means, but hopefully it is super, super awesome. Can I use this? Can I turn this on? That would be hilarious. You can set, turn off the fire alarm, turn it on, scare people. Although I guess I'd be the only one in here other than Mr. Owl. And I, I would feel kind of bad uh, scaring Mr. Owl. That is for sure. All right, museum. It has been fun. I hope you enjoyed today's tour of the museum. It is still growing quite a bit. Okay, so, I realize in this game- No, wait, I do have my shovel. What am I talking about? Oh my gosh, I, I did not see that. Alright, let's dig this bad boy up. Let's see what we got. Give me that fossil, yo! Whoopow! Look, I dug up a fossil because I'm super awesome. And let's go ahead and bury these little holes. Don't want to leave holes ever. You could, you could hurt your ankle. I'm not really good at getting the right angle. There we go. Alright, so let's go see if this party is lit. And I want to see, can I dig up a tree? Okay, so I can put these trees back in my pocket at least. And let me see, I think one of them is a money tree. So let me go ahead and dig this guy up. Hopefully, okay, really, I can't get through there. Okay, get out of here, hole. Okay, we're going to try digging this up very carefully. Because I thought this one was a money tree, but maybe it's just a regular tree now. Nursery hardwood, nursery hardwood. Ah, there's my money tree. So the money tree is something I got by accident. I'm just going to plant it over here. So we're going to plant that. And we got to give we got to give our trees some space, I've learned. So let me know in the comments below how far apart do you actually have to plant the trees. Because I I, I don't want to mess it up. And I, I can reorganize these trees later. But I did go a little crazy. I'm going to be completely honest, cutting down trees. And so I feel like I should probably dig some of these up. So look, look, I kind of massacred this forest while I, uh, you guys were away. Please don't, please don't get mad at me. And, you know, we'll, we'll replant it. We are going to be on team trees. I promise we're going to replant these. For every tree that... Why is it so difficult to dig correctly? There we go. For every tree that I've, I've torn down, I will plant two trees at some point in the future. Hashtag team trees. So we'll dig these stumps up for now. And what is the difference between a green and a, and a pink tree? Other than the colors, you guys. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh, no, it's just a fish. Whew, thought it was a balloon. There's some awesome stuff in the balloons. I really kind of massacred this forest. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna pretend that never happened. And where is Tom Nook? I want to have my awesome party. 
He was telling me there was going to be a sweet, sweet party. It never happened. Yo, Mr. Nook, where my party at? Ah, uh, Husky, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Ooh, there it is. That's all the ceremony. Now, before I do that, I want to see what he says about what should I do. Yes, yes, that is the question. I must thank you for offering help to gather materials for the new shop. That's very generous. Ah, that's right. I got to get more nuggets to finish the shop. I wonder if I can get enough of them today because it's limited on how many you can get. What would you like to talk to me about? Let's hold a ceremony. Oh, you want to take part in the ceremony, Husky? Uh, yeah. Right now, we'd like to celebrate the grand opening of our museum. Interested? I sure am. This party sounds off the hook. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so do I have to gather resources or what? This party, I mean, this is more people than show up to my birthday party. We got, we got six. I can't count. That is definitely five. We got five people here. Now then, welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Husky Town's brand new museum. And the crowd goes mild, as usual. Thank you. Husky Town truly started out as a desert island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of, well, everyone, really. Gonna be honest, I did much of the work. And now I think we need to hear a few words from Blathers, who will be running our new museum. Blathers, the floor is yours, except there is no floor. Residents of Husky Town, once again, I am Blathers, your humble museum curator. I am overwhelmed indeed, overjoyed by the marvelous establishment we are opening here today. Who? this could not have been done without you and your considerable, considerable cooperation. Again, I think I did most of the work. I only hope this island's rich ecosystem and treasure trove of species continues to inspire all. It has surely strengthened my own resolve to build a museum brimming with wonder. I say I do hope you will continue your support of the museum's efforts going forward. I mean, I'm, I am. I'm one of those people who likes to play a game to completion, and I want to fill this museum. Thank you for the rousing speech, Blathers. Now, let's have a few words from someone who contributed much to the museum, made it possible, or whatever you're saying. I'm talking about Husky, our resident representative. Anything to add? Good for us. We're amazing. Woo! I mean, I feel like this is what I would say in real life, so we're going with woo. Oh! With the very confident pose, I even got a text message at the exact right moment. Everyone's just congratulating me on the opening of the museum. But the word is getting out. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, Husky. Everyone, please get ready to join me in bringing this ceremony to a close. Also, those wishing to take a community photo should get ready to press the... the, the I want to make sure that that's the right one. All right. I don't know. I don't know what button that was, but we are going to try and press... Don't forget to grow and celebrate Husky Town's beautiful museum! Hooray! Oh, I'm trying to take... I I don't think I don't think I took a picture, guys. I really don't. But you know what? The memory lives on in here. And also on YouTube.com slash Husky. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Okay, thank you all. This concludes our ceremony. Please take care on your way home! I mean, my home is literally nine steps away. So if I manage to injure myself, that's not going to be a good situation. All right, well, let's see what all of our buddies are saying. Sometimes they give me free stuff. Sorry, yo, you've been training Hammy? Uh, sure, I want to chat. Don't mind me, I'm just keeping the peace on Husky Town. I try to do a few patrol jogs every day. All right, well, that was not that interesting. I think what I want to do right now is just really go for these nuggets. I really want to get the correct iron. And I was reading, I don't know if this is true, you guys, but if you miss swing on the rock, you lose one of the minerals. Is that true? Doesn't seem fair, so we gotta we gotta really line up this shot. So maybe I can do. I'm trying to think of a good angle that I can't possibly mess this up. Okay, there we go. There's one, and you gotta walk over here. There's two. Got some clay. I'm looking for the nuggets, though. I'm really looking for the nuggets. There's one. That's what we want. Is that it? I thought there was more than this. Am I tripping? All right. Well, I guess that's it. I don't know if I'm gonna get enough. If there's only one, I really don't think that's gonna be enough. And I'm trying to remember where the other... Okay, I gotta be honest, I love picking stuff up off the beach. So we're gonna swing by the beach. We are gonna pick up all the garbage on the beach. I know that this was a, like a, a viral trend for a while. I've already caught you guys before. This guy's just snoozing. What if I hit him with a shovel? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I thought I was gonna dig him up. Uh, can I be dead It sounds more like rugged. What is this guy talking about, man? You gotta wake up, buddy. You have gotta wake up. Okay, here we go. Hopefully don't mess this up. One. And don't mess this up. And two. And three. This actually makes it very suspenseful because I don't want to miss. I do not want to mess this up. Okay, why is it only giving me three? I could have swore you got more. What if you try a different angle? Does the angle matter? We're about to find out. 
Okay, well, this is what we got. I was hoping for more. That was not a very bountiful harvest. All right, I'll pick up the little seashells because you can sell these. And I'm all about getting them bells. Let's, you know, these stumps are not looking good. Let's just get them out of here. We can fix these holes later. I gotta say, though, if you cut down all the trees, so much easier to see what's going on. Although I think you get, like, less honeycombs. You get less bugs. You really get a lot less stuff. I mean, this is, like, the most depressing island so far. I feel like I've deforested the entire thing. So, gosh darn it. I'm trying to, to, to make it look better around here. But what happens if you just cut down every single tree? I guess you have to grow more. But they certainly do not grow back. All right, so we're going to try maybe this angle. Because we need some more nuggets. I want to I want to open up the shop. I feel like that's leveling up. And hang on, what is... Uh, they're saying I can get some Nook Miles. Which, ah, there we go. I get this for hitting rocks with a shovel. It literally says hit rocks. So you get, you get frequent flyer miles for hitting rocks. Get fossils assessed. Catch fish. Sell clumps of weeds. Chop down trees. See, it wants me to chop down trees. So I feel like I can definitely sell clumps of weeds. I can definitely catch fish. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get three fossils. And oh boy, can I chop down a tree? You guys ready for this? You guys ready? I said I wasn't going to chop down any more trees. But guess what? This game literally wants me to chop down trees. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. It's so satisfying. One, two, three. It's so satisfying. Absolutely satisfying. And... We get frequent flyer miles, so let's go ahead and collect Dem Nook Miles. Well, pow! I have 7,000, now 8,000 Nook Miles, which I'm a fan of. So I gotta catch bugs, catch fish, catch fossils, catch weeds. I, I feel like at this point I'm just doing chores, essentially. So just gonna double check I didn't miss any of the rocks. I don't really... I gotta sell these fish, too. Really gotta sell those fish that I got. Alright, so let's just start hitting this rock. And I am, I am just hitting the mines real hard because I want to get more of those nuggets. Yes, too. Give me another nugget, please. See, I feel like every time you do that, like, yeah, there's no more. Uh, I also think you lose durability on your shovel, even if you're hitting it when there's nothing there. So that makes me a sad panda. I think I have gotten all of the rocks in this area. So, you know what that means. It is time to skedaddle. See, I don't know if I have enough room. Let's go. Let's go sell some stuff. Let's go get some of them bells. And then we're going to try and mine. I want to I wanna open up the shop. That's what I want. That was kind of my goal today. Other than the museum. Because I thought the museum would be done. Uh, which it was, thankfully. How am I helping you today? I want to sell. Uh, I mean, I think these were all doubles. Because I haven't caught any fish. And I tried to donate these. And he definitely did not want them. So we'll sell that. We'll sell some of our shells. And we got to sell one of these weeds. Uh, I might have some in storage, actually. Because, you know, I'm a normal sane person, and I put weeds in storage. So, let's see how much you'll give me for that. Uh, 2,900 bells. You got me sold. You know, guys, with that jump cut, I am now having a relaxing beach day. And I feel like my fishing skills have not been accurately represented in these videos thus far. As soon as I stop recording, I swear I catch a hundred fish. And then once the video is actually recording, I catch no fish. And it's quite embarrassing. You guys can watch the older videos to see what I'm talking about. So hopefully, this is my time to shine. That's what I'm talking about. What is that? I caught a zebra turkey fish. Land, air, water. Make up your mind. Aren't these things highly poisonous? Shouldn't I be not holding that fish? Oh, of course, my fishing pole explodes from touching that dangerous fish. So I don't, I can't catch any of the big fish that I find out here. I've already caught those bugs before, so not a whole lot going on over here. I just really want more nuggets. I was so close. I thought for sure I was going to get enough today. And I'm bummed to say, I just don't know if that's going to happen. So basically at this point, we're running around. I can't remember if there's any rocks on this side of the island. I don't think there are. Which does make me very, 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 very sad. As I wanted to get those nuggets. Alright, so nothing here. Let's go ahead and do a vaulting pole. Up and over. And we are looking for some rocks. I'm sure there's bugs and other stuff here, but I really want the rocks. Wait, 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 wait. We got a fossil. Hold up. We got a fossil. And I kind of am obsessed with the fossils. So there we go. Nailed it. And we'll just pat that little hole. Nobody can trip in that hole. 
And I am frantically looking around for rocks, but I just don't think there's anything. There's just nothing over here, you know? I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw you hiding back here, albeit barely. Bam, another fossil. Wait, how many fossils do I have now? I've got one, two, three, so that's gonna get me some sky miles. There's a rock up there, but I don't have the ladder yet. All right, well, there's none here. Sad panda indeed. Gosh darn it. No, no nuggets. This whole video is gonna be me celebrating getting enough nuggets. But you know, it's just not gonna happen today, is it? I mean, I can pick up these little things on the beach, but it's just not the same. It's not gonna fill that hole left by a lack of nuggets. <sighs> All right, well, I gotta, I gotta make a middle note. There's only nuggets on the mainland. And no matter how much you wish for a nugget, that does not mean that a nugget will enter your life. That is just a good life lesson. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold up again. Okay, so I feel like for what I lack in nuggets, I'm making up in fossils. Because that is my fourth fossil, I think, in my inventory right now. I'm just gonna leave that hole there. I can trip in it later. Why are the Oh wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, guys. I want you to channel your inner nugget. I don't know what that is, but please just channel it because I need nuggets. This is it. Okay, well, I got a coin. Hold on. I don't think I've caught this bug before. Ah! I always I always go into panic mode. Okay, we're come back. No, 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 no! <laughs> Why would the bug go in the water? Why is there a coin? Oh, that, that was not cool. Oh, apparently you can like, look at it. He can, he can like hold this stance. He is so ready. He's sneaking around. He's like, oh, I got you, stick. Oh, I'm so sad. I mean, that just, that could not have gone any worse. Why did that bug suicide in the water? Not, wait, was there one? Do you have to hit these things like really fast? Am I just messing up everything I do? This whole thing could not have gone worse. It really couldn't have. Wait, what's going on over here? Did I leave one over there? I'm so confused. I'm so bummed, but we are gonna make this happen. We are gonna get our nuggets one of these days. Oh, hold on, tarantula, tarantula, hold on. Give me that net. Oh, we are catching this tarantula. Here we go. Here we go. This is it, man. This is it. Hua! No! No! Ah! Just everything, you know, sometimes you're so close to your dreams in every way, and they just completely escape you all at once. I don't even remember not picking this stuff up. No, it's a little late for that, buddy, don't you think? All right, so let's get the shovel, and we're going to whack it. I am so sad. I feel like out of anger, I just want to go cut down an entire forest in this game. But I feel like I've already, I've already made this, this plot of land, I'm going to turn into something cool. You guys wait. This plot of land is going to be absolutely lit. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be cool. It's going to be like a petting zoo. I don't even know if you can get animals in this game. But if you can, that's going to be me. Okay, so unfortunately... I don't get to help him build his dream building. I was hoping for two buildings in one day. It just, it wasn't in the cards. I messed it all up. That is okay. I still haven't even caught a tarantula. Yep, I want to assess fossils, my man. So these ones, can we do them all at once? Or is it only one at a time? Oh no, we can do them all at once. Assess my fossils, my man. All right, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Hooray, I found something that is not yet part of our Steam collection. Now, I do hope you consider donating what you found. Okay, well, what is it? I wanna, I wanna make a donation. So did he, did he decide what they all were and then hand them back to me? Okay, so we've got the zebra turkey fish, an australopith, a spino skull, and a brachio skull. So we got three skulls, and then this one must have already been in here. And then we're gonna give him the pokey fish because it's awesome. Some things I see, let's take a look, shall we? Splendid, we'll gotta take these off your hands. All right, so I'm all good, my man. Let's uh, let's just see really quick where these skulls are at because skulls are awesome and I kind of want to see what they look like. Does he just lay them out? Where are my skulls at? I donated them, so I should be able to see them. Where are these skulls at? Is it up here? Is all the way at the top? That oh, I can almost see it. It's, it's up there-ish. I mean, that, that's pretty darn tall. I don't know how I'm supposed to even get up here. Maybe the stairs? 
Whoa, that thing is huge. Oh my goodness, these these guys do not mess around. These are like full-size fossils. There's one of the skulls. That is awesome. Okay. I'm I'm satisfied that my donations are being taken care of. They have found a good home. I want to fill this place with every skull and every boat ever. That would be super, super cool. Oh man, I'm still so bummed. I just don't have enough nuggets. You know, just for good luck, let's just let's just hit this old stone right here. I feel like you gotta hit them real quick. You can't mess it up. And I think what I wanna do, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? It is time to visit a random island, but I need to bring my tools. That is the one thing I know because I tried to fly the island before and it said make sure you have all your tools. I don't know if my shovel is gonna hold up actually. So let me see here. I need to sell some stuff. Let's collect our nook miles that we worked so hard on these fossils for. So we're gonna collect that. And what's this one? Plant trees. I That I can do. I like that the little Nook Miles, uh, they're so easy to get. Those little bonus ones. These ones, I don't really keep track of. Because there's just so many different ones you can get. But hey, 300 miles, I will take it. Any other ones down here I can claim? Because I have been busy. I am booked and busy. Okay, no, I got all those. Okay, so I need to basically see the DIY plan. And I need, I want to make a shovel just to be safe. But then I have to use one of my nuggets. But maybe there's nuggets on the other island. Yikes, I don't know guys. Uh, let's see. I can make a flimsy shovel. That just needs hardwood. I think I'm gonna make a flimsy shovel. I already have an axe. I don't have the fishing pole. That, uh, okay, let's go grab some resources out of my house. Maybe I just make flimsy stuff. I just don't want to use any more nuggets. I've used so many nuggets. I've messed up my mining. I've messed up the tarantula. I'm kicking myself every which way. So, let's grab the tree branches. Let's grab the wood. I don't know what the wasp nests are for. Let me know, are the wasp nests actually for anything? I'm gonna grab this. And I'm gonna grab that. So I've never been to another island. I don't know, is there somewhere to craft? I actually don't know. But what if I bring my own crafting table? Can I put that down and then craft on it? Again guys, I'm learning this game in real time. I don't know everything about this game like a lot of people do. So I'm... I'm literally, uh, not right now. I wanna, I wanna take this with me. How do I, how do I put this in my bag? Yeah, this crafting table is coming with me. I don't know if that's exactly how this game works, but it's coming with me. And I don't, I don't want to wear it out. I don't want it to randomly poof and disappear. So I'm gonna run to the crafting table over here, because again, you can't be too safe in this game. Because you think you're good, you think you have the right tools, and then they explode in your hands, which is never ever a good thing. All right, so we're gonna go to the crafting table. Yes, I definitely want to craft. Okay, so I'm gonna make this fishing pole. I am not going to upgrade it because I I don't want to use any more nuggets. Okay, so I got my fishing pole. Now I gotta free up some inventory space. So let's sell whatever I can. And also I can donate some stuff. Uh, I'd like to donate, my man. Right now you have some soft wood and hardwood. Do you want to donate 30 of each? These are for you. Plop. Thank you so much. We only need one last bit of reach to your donation goals. Build a shop. I know. A wait, 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 wait. To thank you, let me offer you a magazine, a piano bench, some artsy parquet flooring. Parquet? Parquet? Uh, we'd love your cooperation donating the last type of material needed. Trust me, man. I'm tr I'm looking high and low for these nuggets. Uh, I want to sell. I got to free up some of this space. All right, so I'm going to sell these weeds. I'm going to sell some coral. I'm going to hold on to anything that's for designing my house. Piano bench. I can sell this recipe. We can sell the sea snails. This one. Wait, can I put these out in my house? That is something I didn't think of. I'm going to try putting that out in my house. And all these other things I want to hold on to except for these. I'll sell the one pair just to free up a little bit of space. And we'll just go with that for now. How much money are you going to give me all for all this? 3,500 bells. You are sold, my man. I wonder how bells translate to real dollars because you can get some crazy stuff with bells. Gotta use the machine, collect my free miles. Uh, yep, get my 50 bonus. I wish I would have logged in yesterday. Let me see what my Nook miles are going to get me because you guys are telling me you can unlock hairstyles. There's pop hairstyles. And there's eight cool hairstyles. 
which I'm kind of wishing that I had cool hairstyles. This stuff is cool, but is it really worth miles? See, I just don't know. I feel like it's not. So I'm gonna go for eight pop hairstyles because what better thing to spend sky miles on than hairstyles? <laughs> if only redoing your hair was that easy, it literally prints it on a receipt. All right, man, we have got to try some new hairstyles. I want something that's like this. I don't know if there's a hairstyle like this, but I definitely want it. I learned some pop hairstyles. I bet I could change up my look with a vanity or a mirror. A vanity or a mirror. I think I actually have a mirror recipe. Uh, let's craft. I think I do. Yes, I actually do. I will give up my iron nugget for this, however. All right, I made a full length wooden mirror all done for now. Okay, so since I have to set up the mirror, I'm guessing either at my house or somewhere outside. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna get all the hairstyles, man. I'm gonna... Wait, 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 wait. There are eight cool hairstyles and now eight stylish hair colors. I think the hair color's unlocked, right? Although my hair in game kind of already matches the yellow of my hair. So I'm going to just do the hairstyles for now. I don't want to waste all my miles just yet. Now generating top eight cool hairstyles. So I have 16 new hairstyles to choose from. Which I'm cool with because I like changing up my hair all the time. Uh, okay. So we got that. Let me see what else. I learned some cool hairstyles. I bet I can change up my look using Vanity Mirror Mirror. Yeah, I got that. I wonder if this unlocks something else. Like how many things are there to unlock with miles? Is there just like... Limitless? Okay, uh, Custom Design Pro Editor. I do want to get that, but I'm going to save my miles for now. So that's the hair color. Ooh, eye mask. Oh, that's for sleeping. <laughs> I'd be running into everything. Okay, so maybe maybe more stuff gets unlocked later. I'm not going to do the hair color just yet as much as I want to. Let's, uh, let's go set up this mirror and see what we can see with my hair. I'm hoping, I'm hoping for this hairstyle right here, you guys. I genuinely am. I actually have not seen this yet, so this is going to be a first for me. And can, let me know in the comments, can you make your house bigger later? I really hope you can, because I'm going to feel pretty limited on space here pretty soon. My house is already kind of weird. All right, so where's my mirror? Is it this one? All right, place item. All right, so now I can use this thing. Should I change up my look with this wooden full-length mirror? Change it up, my man. Okay, apparently you can change your skin color? Man, this is like an all-powerful mirror. I love this thing. Okay, so hairstyle. Now we got all sorts of hair. That's kind of fun. That's a little messy. No, no. I want to see what else hairstyles we... Wait, wait. We're getting close. It's it's kind of the same swoosh. Not nearly as awesome. But that that's getting a little close, guys. I mean, these hairstyles are actually really, really fun. Okay, my hair has definitely looked like this before. I'm going to be honest. I will be honest, it's looked like this before, it's looked like this before. Oh, this is getting not, not that far off. These hairstyles are actually pretty fun. Uh, my hair's looked like that before. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any hairstyles before I finally fixate on one. I really think, I mean, this one's fun, but my hair's not like that all over. I feel like this one's about as close as you can get, but should I change it to white? And let me know, guys, in the comments. Number one... Here we go. Let me know, should I do this one? I'm still smiling. That one, or is it a different hairstyle? Is it option A or option B? Although this one like kind of looks like it. Option A, hair color, option B. I don't know guys, I'm kind of feeling, I'm kind of feeling the one over here. This makes me pretty happy. I My hair is not that white right now because I haven't bleached it in a while. This is the new us. This is, I mean, this is us. We are feeling ourselves right now. Face paint. Wait, what's it look like if I put a plane on my face? A tree on my face. This face paint is absolutely wild. That is horrifying. I'm actually shook at that. Can you guys tell me what a good face paint looks like? Because it is not this. I mean, I'm getting text messages. People are telling me not to do it. Um, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go with this. You guys can't stop me. You guys cannot tell me. I think I gotta take off the hat though. We really gotta, we really gotta scare people. All right, this is this is the new me. This is absolutely the new me. I look terrifying, and on top of that, 
I'm gonna take my hat off. Hats off to this outfit. That is me, baby. Okay, so we are gonna put, I mean, we're, we're gonna be putting everything in storage. So let's go to our inventory, put in storage, put in storage. It's all going in. All right, that stuff is in storage. I've got to reorganize here. It's starting to get a little cluttered. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually a minimalist in real life. So just having this much clutter is giving me anxiety. However, I want to try and place my awesome skeleton on a box. I'm going to open up my own museum. Place item. Yeah, we got this priceless artifact on a cardboard box. I mean, this is like college all over again. Um, so, I believe it is time. I think I am prepared to go visit a mystery island. I am so ready. I got my shovel in hand. I, I'm feeling good. I feel like they're going to have nuggets for me. Plus, it's nighttime, so I don't think it'll be very crowded. Yes. Oh, it's happening. It is absolutely happening. All right, you bird. I want to go fly. This is my first time going to a mystery island. I intentionally avoided videos of mystery islands because I have no idea what to expect. I want to fly. Roger, by the way, got Nick Miles ticket. Yep, I know. This is my freebie that I get. I want to visit someone. Use Nook Miles ticket. So, you want to use Nook Miles ticket? Roger! In that case, I'll just take the ticket and go from Tom Nook. I'm ready to get to you in the sky right this minute, but let's just check. You're all packed. Tools already. Time for takeoff. Let's get you airborne, baby. This is my first flight in game. I can't fly anywhere in real life right now, so I'm excited. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower Wilbur. You copy? Got a walker who needs wings over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? Probably go extinct. Yikes. Big yikes. All right, we are on the uh, Dodo Airlines, also known as Dal. Ah, this is your captain speaking. All right, we are two down and docked at the target island. Delta Oscar, Delta Oscar is go. First time getting your... Pro Pontoons is not a word that I've had to say very often, so I, 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 my brain basically shut down. First time getting your pontoons wet on tour? Let me brief you on a mystery island procedure. First, we run the finder's keeper's protocol here. Lumber, fruit, fish, whatever. Yours if you can carry it. Next up, break a tool, forget one. I am a, can requisition you a replacement. Gotta charge you miles, though. And also, there's one red line item you need to memorize, like your favorite latte order. Anything you leave behind stays here. We don't come back to these places. Ever. I actually burned the flight plans afterwards. Security reasons can't explain more than that. Thank you. That's everything. Go explore. If you get into trouble, ask yourself, what would dodos do? Meanwhile, I'll be in a holding pattern here. Get in touch when you need tools or travel. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. <laughs> I feel like that's what me and my friends just say when we're like, we're out, we're out working, making money. Go catch some bees and chop some trees. Oh, and they... I like how everything I prepared for they already had. Oh, there, there is just a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff here. The same fruit that I have on my island, unfortunately. Okay, so we're gonna try and whack this thing real fast. Okay, one. I'm just gonna keep it going, keep it going. I don't know if it's a time thing, but it sure feels like it sometimes. And see, I'm telling you, maybe it is a time thing. All right, well we got two. Of course, my shovel explodes right when I need it. Oh, well, whatever. Whatever. Okay, I got a couple more nuggets. I'm gonna see if he has a shovel for sale. Hopefully it's not too expensive. That looks like a huge fish. So, I never use the quick menu for some reason. I always forget to. Okay, so we're gonna sneak up on this fish. We got our flimsy rod in hand. Oh, this is it. This is gonna happen. Wait, what? He completely turned around. Not fair, my man. Okay, we're gonna try this again. We got to get this big fish. Oh, this angles. This angles. The sweet spot right there. Here we go. I swear the fish knows right when you try and cast. He always moves. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Okay, let's try right here. Oh, I swear these fish are smart. These fish have the, the, the most intelligence of it. How? It knows. I'm telling you it knows. I don't know if it actually does know, but it sure feels like it. Okay, that is right in front of you, buddy. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Someone at someone at Nintendo's trolling. I know they're trolling with this stuff. They are absolutely trolling. Here we go. This is it. This is it. I'm trying to get a good angle. This is so it. This is so it. This is the one. He's gonna bite. Yeah! 
What is that? What is that? I caught a black bass. I can't remember if I've caught a black one before, but hey, I feel like it was worth it. I'm just going to go for the big fish right now. Whoa, are these coconuts? Uh, did not know this game had coconuts. Can I build a tropical paradise? Because I will, I will cut down every tree and I will build myself a tropical paradise. Don't think that I won't. Let me see if I can just chop this tree down. It's got wood. Goodbye, paradise. I don't know if there's a way to dig these trees up and take them home with you, but I I want that tropical paradise more than anything. Okay, I think I can actually hit these with an axe. Okay, so we are going to try. Let's pick up this one first. And hopefully I can get a million things again. Oh, there's that bug. No, don't miss. Don't miss. No time for missing. No time for bugs either because I need these nuggets. There's two. Come on, one more. Nope. All right. Well, I missed, which I think does mess it up. I'm getting a lot of clay. Was hoping for more nuggets, not going to lie. Is that bug still down here? No, he's gone. I got to say, going on these little islands is pretty darn fun. Here is another palm tree. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna get those, those coconuts in just a minute. Ah, I can't get up there, I don't think. I'm afraid. I'm going to try and get this big fish, though. Because I don't know. I don't know if the fish on this island are different than the ones on my island. I will say they're quite pesky, though. That is definitely their strength. Every time I cast it, he runs away from it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. I caught a dace. No, I've caught in 10 million daces. Lame. Here's another big fish. Who's going to catch a big fish? You know what, guys? Welcome to my relaxing fishing stream. Where we catch fish. And that's it. And it's not actually a stream. Is that another dace? Double dace? All right. Yeah. Oh, he, he really went for it. I'm actually pretty excited about that. Come on. I can't see if you go behind that tree. A, a boot? It, uh, was made, it wasn't made for swimming. I could probably wear these if I found another boot, right? I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. All right, well, I at least learned a new recipe. Time to explore the northern side of the island. I noticed some pebbles. Okay, guys, this is one. This is gonna this is gonna feel great. Let me talk to this guy first. Lily, I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Lily, and you're Husky from Husky Town. Man, word gets around that I am Husky from Husky Town. I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is a chance to make new friends. I feel like we're not friends. I feel like that they literally just said they want to make friends. Okay, whatever. Um, I think maybe my face paint is a little off-putting, just a little bit. I would I would be terrified of this face paint if I was. Not me. And actually, I am me, and I'm still terrified of this face paint. So here we go. Let's get those nuggets. Yeah, two for two. Come on. Give me more. Three for four. Oh, this ha this is happening. This is really happening. Okay, wait, 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 wait. We might actually have enough. We might actually have enough now. I'm going to have to check my inventory. Please don't be one short. Please do not be one short. Yes! Exactly 30. Wait, no, no, 31, 31. It made a new, it made a new one there. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good. All, everything else on this island, it is just a small bonus if you ask me. I mean, I don't even care what this tree drops because we can finally donate. We can build our building. That is definitely what I'm doing right after this. Again, I don't have ladders just yet. I think I get ladders after I build the next building. Excuse me, buddy. All right. Well, oh, I wish I could go up there. What is that bug? What is that bug? It's gorgeous. Wait, do you think I can catch it from down here? I'm going to assume not. This waterfall is so loud. It is so loud. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. I almost got him. I almost got that dang bug. I don't know if pole vaults, like, break in durability. I feel like they probably do because everything in this game does. But at this point, I've done just about everything I could. I mean, I could fish all these little fish. Oh, that is a huge fish. Okay, this is going to be my last fish here that I'm going to try and catch. Because I don't know if these fish are any different than the ones back home. Come on, that's right in front of you, buddy. God, I could not make it more easy for him. I really couldn't. Okay. Why, why is he not biting? That is literally right in front of him. This guy is just really, really making it difficult. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ah, missed opportunity. Well, I can definitely see the appeal of these islands. I, I mean, I chopping down trees 
You guys, you know, it's my favorite pastime. And hey, if we're never going to visit here again, <laughs> I have massacred this forest. My job here is done. Not a tree left on this side of the island. That is very, very satisfying. All right, it is time to go back home and donate these nuggets. Yep, I'm ready to go home. I'm so out of here, buddy. And we are back at home. All right, guys, so the last thing I'm going to do for this video, because this is a bit of a long one, is I'm going to be donating those nuggets and getting this 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 place hopping, getting it upgraded, because I want... I want a bustling city. That is what I want, and I think this is the next step towards that. How can I help you today about building a shop? And I'd like to donate. 30 I know can you handle that. These are for you. Love it. Oh my gosh, this means we have everything we need to get started in our shop. And because we help you gather what we need to start construction on the shop, we want to have the honor. What is it the honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. Place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on construction. You know what, guys? I want to live in the city. I've been saying this the whole time, so I'm going to go put it over by my house. Hopefully my house has room to grow, actually. I'm kind of worried about that, but at the same time, I just want friends, you know? I want neighbors. So let's see, can I just plop it like somewhere down here? Literally just right in front of my house. Let's see if it lets me do it. Mm. Let's see if I can do it here. I'm trying to make it so crowded. I feel like most people probably spread out their, their city. But I, I mean, I want people, I want people here. This is too close to the plaza. Don't want anything to get in the way here. Better choose another place. Okay, so I'm putting this building about as close to my house as I can. Because I, this is helping my property values, guys. The more that's going on over here, the more bells my property's going to be worth. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think it works like that, but that's what I'm thinking. Let me imagine. No, this is, this is the spot. I knew this spot the second I saw it. Bah! My guy looks terrifying. Also, by the way, you didn't see it. I got stuck by bees, and that really, really sucked. This is where the shop will go. I bet the island is about to become a whole lot livelier. I sure hope so. So, you guys, this has seriously been so much fun. Thank you guys for the support on all of these videos. I've been reading through all your comments. So, if you have any suggestions or questions or whatever, put them down below. I have been reading through them, responding to some of them as well. Let's just jump into bed in my horribly organized house. We are turning off this light. So, oh, wait, wait. Or I can light my face better on camera. I mean, which, which lighting do we prefer? I think I'm going to go with that one. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. I think my next video, I'm going to play this a little bit. I'm going to start saving some bells, and I will show you all the progress I made for the next videos. So again, I hope you guys enjoy it, and of course, I'll see you guys next time.